27th of October 2022. Sans China unlikely to lose gaming concession race. Sans China is facing a lower risk of losing out to its five fellow rivals already with a gaming license. Morgan Stanley has predicted, saying that it is still their preferred pick. Analysts Praveen Chaudhry and Gareth Lung explained in a note that the gaming operator remained the largest employer as of the first half of the year. Compared to the other five gaming companies, with over 25,110 staff on its payroll, or 26% of the industry's total workforce, followed by SJM at 20% and Galaxy at 18%. According to the investment bank's calculation, it also generated the highest proportion of revenue from non-gaming last year, standing at 27%, edging out Galaxy Entertainment Group by 2%, with Win Macau in third place at 20%. The Chinese subsidiary of Las Vegas Sands Corporation has also contributed the most of all existing gaming concessionaires, with some 61.4 billion US dollars, Macau Patakas 493.39 billion, spent since 2007, by capital expenditure, staff costs and tax paid. In comparison, SJM has put in 51.4 billion US dollars, while Galaxy Entertainment Group and Win Macau have respectively invested 46.2 billion US dollars and 33.1 billion US dollars, with MGM trailing along at 22.9 billion US dollars. The investment bank also said that compared to Galaxy Entertainment Group, Sands China has a more attractive valuation to investors. Galaxy outperformed Sands during the pandemic, which we think was due to better balance sheet and lower credit risk. Once Sands Gaming License is renewed and the industry starts making positive cash flow, we expect Sands to reverse this performance, said the two analysts. In addition, citing that travel restrictions between Macau and the Chinese mainland will stay in place at least until the first quarter of next year, Morgan Stanley has lowered its 2022 and 2023 forecasts for gross gaming revenue by 17% and 3% respectively. This news is brought to you by M Plus Live and Macau News Agency. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook.